So, welcome to Mullet and Chips, the fanzine for the Ilford and District Churches Football League. And this is the result service for Saturday, the 2nd of October. So, let's go with the flow, shall we? Now it's three and one <laughs> this week because we're going to have the uh, the results read by Christian. So Christian, thank you. Yeah, you. Well done, son. Yeah, All right. Fine. Well, Christian, thank you for being my guest and nice to be uh, reading the uh, the results. So um, over to you. Here are the results of Saturday, second of October. The match is played, 2021. AS Athletic six, ANC nil. City Gates five. Ruanch 1 East Ham 6 Ravens 2 Emmanuel FC 3 New Covenant Church 2 GDSTP 2 Herc Rangers 0 KICC Royals 1 Salway 2 and Streams 2 AM 8 Good about hair on, have a good week <laughs> Great uh, the first autumn <laughs> fixture and it's been raining so uh, going to be a bit damp around the ears but let me welcome uh, Andy Colhart the team rep for Emmanuel Football Club so thank you Andy Woo! so well Andy uh, thanks very much for, for joining hi, me hi everybody uh, and um, we're featuring e Emmanuel versus New Covenant Church and so, Andy, you want to introduce Ollie to us? Do you? Yeah, OK, but first of all, just want to say it's really great to be back in the league. Yes. Emmanuel, we had a little layoff for two years, but we've regrouped ourselves. Got a little bit of help from a um, couple of other teams. We've been scouting down here at the Flats. And, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good season. I think there's some good teams, actually. Some new teams, unknown quantities. Yeah. Um, but we've just finished our match, and uh, EFC have just voted that our man Ollie should get the man of the match so he's also got the duty to come and do some press with you now Liam. is that all right? Press, I like that. Yeah, would yeah. you like to take okay. my hat off then we can yeah, like, we we like yeah. brothers okay. there, there yeah, you go. go. Right. Okay Ollie. Okay, thank go. you. Thank you Andy. So we're going to bring in uh, Oliver who's Emmanuel's man of the match today. So Woo! well done Oliver. Okay um, I'm sorry about the uh, the noise but uh, that's how it goes. Welcome Oliver to the Eagle studio. So, uh, so well done. I just want to talk very quickly about one of the new awards for the end of this season is the Young Player of the Year and it's for all teams to nominate a young player 21 and under to the, the committee at the end of the year and we make awards to that player. Now just for information there's 32 players in our league who qualify and the team that you play for Emmanuel there's five players, uh, of which you are one of them, under 21, so that's that's good. So, you know, you'd be the man of the match, uh, you know, you're the powers that be, uh, you might be in a good state, but it's still early in the season. So, of all the the total number of players actually registered in the Ilford District Churches Football League is 392, so the 32 under 21s, and I can thank Bernie, who does the uh, admin for us, she's the Mrs. Stato, and uh, so that represents 8.2% of uh, all the players Quite registered for the league. It's so probably a lot more ECC. It's probably more like... Well, there's, you got yeah. five, and actually, KICC got seven. So, yeah. And some teams actually haven't got any. So, come on, boys. So, once you start growing up, getting married, and buying a house, having babies, and all that sort of... You will find that you you will struggle uh, actually turning out on a Saturday morning. So, to, to keep the teams going, you need to bring the young players through. Right, so... Okay. Okay, now I'm going to ask you about how the match went, uh, mm -hmm. so Oliver. So, what are your thoughts about the match? I, I can say at this stage that um, you won the match 3-2, uh, mm -hmm. so congratulations. Um, I, I was watching it quite a lot and I was uh, really impressed with both teams. It was a very close match. Uh, and I commend uh, New Covenant Church, who's one of the new teams. Uh, well, they did um, they did quite well, very competitive. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, so uh, you got two goals, so that's good as well, isn't it? So I got one. I, oh, I, you got one. The first oh, one. Oh, sorry. The first goal I shot, and the keeper saved it, but it just bobbled out, and um, Benji put it in. He's oh, three right. Points. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, hot off the press. He only got one goal. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, Leo got another yeah. goal. 
So, um, yeah, definitely a sort of emphasis on younger players mm. there, folks. So it's good. So, yeah. so how, did, how did you find the game? I was, I was watching that you and Leo particularly mm. was linking very yeah, well. Yeah, first half we were uh, solid. Yeah. It was 1-0. We finished yeah. the first half 1-0 up, so mm. we didn't concede a goal. Mm. We were very solid in midfield and in the defence. And um, the one goal, we had more opportunities. They, yeah. they, the other team had a few opportunities, but most of the time we kept it solid and we didn't allow them to score. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then second half, like right from the off, um, they they like were more attacking and they had more chances and they they played the ball down the right hand side and a great finish from them. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah. And then, and then Leo and Mike in the middle were tussling and Leo just got free, he got a yard of space and from about 30 yards out just shoots and it goes bottom corner. Yeah. Great finish. Great. Banging goal. Yeah, and the last goal which I saw and it was um, David on the left there, uh, he was um, under a lot of pressure from, yeah, from there their was three defenders. Yeah, there people on him, yeah. But he still managed to get mm. the ball to you, edge of the box yeah. and bang, yeah. he was in. So, and uh, then they came back last minute and got uh, a last minute penalty. Yeah, that so was the last kick of the game. Yeah, last kick of the team. game, yeah. And uh, so, uh, for once, I enjoyed watching mm. the match rather than actually being a manager, which I was for many years. But um, yeah, okay, that's great, Oliver. Mm. Now, Chris, are you up for this, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. okay. All right, so we give it a go. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, w what it is, it's, I call it the ABC quiz. So it's uh, three questions. And um, you get a ch you got a choice of uh, three answers, and let's see how you go, shall we? Yeah. Okay. No pressure. All right. No pressure. Right. Okay. First question. Uh, in the Premier League, Kevin Phillips won the Golden Boot in 1999-2000. Who was the next English player to do so? So was it A. Harry Kane? Was it B. Wayne Rooney? Or was it C. Jamie Vardy? So what do you think? I think it's Jamie Vardy. Sorry. Harry Kane, cool. so English player. Yeah, so yeah, I awesome. knew he won it last season, but I thought. Oh, well, yeah. there you go. So it shows you mm. yeah, big gap in between. Yeah. So come on, you England players. Let's get some mm. more. You get get in the goals. Uh, get in the golden boot in the uh, English Premier League. Right. Okay. Question two: Which manager was in charge of Man City when they won their first Premier League title? So was it Mark Hughes, mm. B. Roberto Mancini? Or C, Manuel Pellegrini. I mean, it was Mancini. Mancini, well done, that's right. Yes. Great, well done. Yeah. Good, good. Yes, Ollie! Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's have some crowd support here. <laughs> right, okay, question three. Which country has won the most African Cup of Nation titles? Uh, so, is it A, Egypt, mm. B, Cameroon, or C, Ghana? I think it's Egypt. Egypt, that's right, with seven titles. Yes, yeah. Love it. Cameroon with five and Ghana with four. So that's great. Now, just one other thing, Ollie, before I let you go, because I know you, you know, still uh, recovering from the match. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got the little item about uh, picking the team for next week. How's that? Okay. What? So what number have you got? Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen is uh, GDSTP. So, um, GDSTP are away to New Covenant Church, so that'll be uh, the featured match next week, and that's on, on pitch 15, uh, so it's quite close again. So, Oliver, so thank you very much for joining uh, with us this week as my guest. No problem. So, um, well, folks, uh, and that's the wrap, and I'm very glad to have uh, Oliver along as my guest. So, thank you very much, Oliver. So, thank you. Yeah, cheers.